Good morning. It's my pleasure to be with you all on this virtual summit. I hope all of you and your families are safe and healthy. Let me start by congratulating BTC on successful completion of 40 years as a telco. It's indeed terrific. I also take this opportunity to thank BTC for giving me this opportunity to speak to you regarding a very important subject. I hope all of you will agree with me that digitalization has significantly made an impact in our lives and it will even do more so going forward. It has been supremely empowering. I mean, the digitization has been supremely empowering. Yet at the same time, it introduces significant vulnerabilities that we need to understand and address. In this context, let me ask you a few questions. Do you trust the digital world? Is your data safe? Are you safe? Now, all of us are bringing digital into our world, into our homes and into our lives. Isn't it very important that we trust something that we are bringing into our lives? When you talk about digital and trust, it's like a chicken and egg situation. Digitalization builds transparency and therefore trust. At the same time, trust is required for a successful digitalization. So the question is, where do you start? Now to understand that, let us look at some of the key components of a successful digital transformation. There are four key constituents. The first one is the people, the citizens or the customers who participate in and benefit from the transformation. Then we have the enablers, the entities that help to drive digitization at scale, the likes of CSP, that's telcos or the fintechs who provide and enable the services. Then we have the data. Data is a very important constituent because that's how we are going to fulfill some of the voids that we have within the society. So it's important how it is collected, stored and used. The last one is the technology, the techniques, the AI ML models and other things that we use to derive value from this data. Now, when we talk about trust, it is not that just any one constituent of these four need to handle that. It's important to have trust in every aspect of these, uh, uh, the, the chain so that all around it brings the element of trust, which will help you to build the overall effect of digital trust and therefore take these programs forward. Let us look some of the key aspects when it comes to trust and these components. Now, when you come to people, the key important question there is that can the people or the customers trust the intentions and the initiatives? At the same time, the enterprises need to understand that these products will be used ethically by the customers or the people. When you come to enablers, can we trust the service providers or the enablers to provide a good level of service and ensure that the transaction is completed appropriately? And on data, is that how you are taking the data, how you are treating the data, how you are storing the data, how you are securing the data, all of these aspects are very important. The last one when it comes to technology, is it how open the technology is or is it restrictive? And open technology will allow you to build on top of it and also understand what is inside those technologies so that you can ensure that there are no biases uh, which are built into the, or which gets into those technologies. Now, one could really understand the importance of this trust, but when do you have to act on it? 
Let's look at some of the examples that we have from other markets. In India, there was a very successful program around onboarding or digital identity. There was almost a billion people got registered into that digital identity program, only to be later found that there was legal issues with it and he had to significantly dilute the utility of some of those, uh, that whole digital identity program. Similarly, recently, for having COVID um, contact tracing, there was an app released to understand how these contacts uh, are, are moving around. Unfortunately, there too, some of the rigidity and some of the policies that they had around the app meant that the citizens did not trust the intention behind the app and therefore it did not succeed. That very few people onboarded onto the platform. If you look at that, these two, uh, these two projects could have been very, very beneficial to the people and the citizens, but it did not go forward or it did not get the full benefit because the trust was always a question. So it's very important to have trust right in the center and right in the design stage itself, rather than as an afterthought. Now let us look at what is the best way to operationalize this trust. The base level is to ensure that at the transactional level or as and when the transaction is happening, it is appropriately completing the transaction without any fraud or leakages or aspects like that. And it should be quite transparent to the citizen or the customers how the transaction is happening so that they fully understand that there is no issue and, and whatever they wanted to be completed digitally has got completed. So this is what we call as the transactional level trust. And primarily, this if you do a good job with respect to risk mitigation, you can build this element of trust. The next one is the ecosystem or the trust in the ecosystem level. There we're talking about two important aspects, identity and security. When you talk about identity or digital identity, it's about how to ensure that the person on the other end of the digital transaction is indeed the person that you think it is. You might think it is quite trivial, but when you cannot see, touch and feel a person, how do you ensure that the person is indeed the person that you think it is? So it's a very important aspect, this whole aspect of digital identity. The same extends to merchants as well. If you're talking to a bank, if you're talking to a, to a uh, you know, e-commerce provider, how do you know it is the right provider? So, this is very, very important to, uh, to bring about the trust in the ecosystem. Similarly, the other key component of the ecosystem is the security. If you cannot do a good job with securing the digital, digital world that you're building, there's no trust you can build. No, not, no, no point in talking about trust if you can't secure what you have. So security is very important. The next level is the strategic level of trust. Now, this is where you build differentiation and significant value add to the societies and customers. As the transactional level, you will collect a lot of data. And it's important that this data is analyzed appropriately so that you can generate good insights to either advance the customer experience or add new value to the customers. However, the key thing is that while you start analyzing and generating the insights, do that without compromising the consent or the privacy of the customers and the citizens. So if you can analyze the data and generate interest without compromising the privacy and the consent, now that is tremendous value. If you work on all these three layers, it will bring together the digital trust that will help you to advance the digital transformation or the digital businesses. Now, from an operation standpoint, for any digital transformation, there are a few very important aspects. The first one is digital identity. We spoke about it, the impact of that in the ecosystem. However, this is one area that can unlock tremendous value for everybody, for the country, for the society, for the enterprises, for the individuals. We are talking about ensuring that when you onboard some a person digitally, 
ensure that it is done properly with all the checks and balances so you can completely identify who this person is. With that power, you can reduce a lot of friction that exists in the society whereby, let's take an example for, a, for, for getting an application into a bank. If today it is taking days, it can be reduced to a few minutes. So that's the power of having a good digital onboarding and digital identity. The second aspect is the consent layer. When in all digitization, when you're dealing with data of people, customers, citizens, it's important for us to bring a very strong consent layer based on which we can share information to our customers or the consumers as to what is the data that we are going to look for what kind of service. I'm a firm believer of the fact that if you show the value that you are going to get, the customers or the citizens will willingly give the consent for looking at their data because they understand they are going to get differentiated and better service. So having a proper and a solid consent layer is a very important aspect on building the digital, digitalization. The next is the security. With any digital transformation, you will see a consolidation of very good data about a lot of customers or your citizens. And that's a very important resource at a, at a, at a country level or at an enterprise level. Now, the moment you do a digitization, you're, you're going to consolidate data and put a bullseye on that to get attacked by all these uh, bad actors. When you talk about bad actors, we are not talking about individuals who are trying to make some money, but we are talking about state, act uh, state actors trying to sabotage the entire country or the entire program. So security and ensuring that security is uh, uh, right in the, in the core of the design is paramount. The last aspect is with respect to the technology stack. For any digital transformation, there should be a technology stack because that's what is underpinning the entire, uh, you know, the digitization journey. Now, when you choose the stack, it is important for you to ensure that you are not restricted, but it is just an open platform that helps you on building on top of it. Because this would allow your, your people, your employees, and your citizens to build on top of whatever platform that you have and unlock a lot of value. That is, this is where you will unleash the entrepreneurship locally available and, and also at the country level. So it's important that when you select a technology, it's not restricting, but it's open and will support you for the entire journey, not just that one project, what you're looking at. Now about Subex, our vision is to be the leaders when it comes to enabling digital trust for enterprises and institutions. We have solutions that are open around augmented analytics, onboarding and digital identity, digital risk and security, and partner ecosystem management. We have been working in the local market of Botswana for over 15 years, and we are a proud partner to BTC. Now to summarize, Digital trust is very important for all of us, and it will be very, very important pillar on which the digital economy will be built. The question is, should we bother about it now or later after we get all the services? If there is one thing that COVID has taught us is to be prepared for things that are directionally certain to happen, but at this point in time, maybe quite hazy. Subex, as Subex, we are committed to play our role along with our partners like BTC to ensure that the digital world is safe and trustworthy. Thank you very much.